and now we're looking at a arrays and pointers as a structure uh, it within within uh, a structure right so we start the same way include stdio.h so we can make use of input and output functions such as printf and scanf and so on right so first we'll start with a structure call and we call it example it's going to hold two components it's going to have a, a char component and it's going to be called array underscore string so we know it's going to be a string of some sort it's going to have four uh, characters within that string and we're going to do another one called char but this time it's going to be a pointer in the string a pointer a string pointer if you want to put it that way we put the star in the beginning not because it's going to be a pointer we define it as a pointer not a variable and we we close that off with a curly brace here and we we give it the the same like we did before with points and, and so on and the box we are are inheriting this whole structure of example into str so the str has this structure has these two components as well as the example has these two components okay now we we start the main function we open up with the curly brace here and we're referring to str dot that part of the component okay but we're referring to the first element in the string and we're giving it the value b we do that again str dot arr underscore string and the second element which is element one and we're giving it the value a and so on okay so we the third and the fine and and so on we put D and the last one which is the third element like I explained in arrays we always count from zero and we go upwards so there's four elements but the last one would be three it's two one and zero okay and we give that the value uh, back backslash zero okay so that basically means space so bad and then we have a space after that and then we go for the, the that now the point in the in the string where the the, the string is point uh, the pointer the string pointer where is pointing in the memory we are going to write the value we're going to give it a value good okay so it should uh, give the value where the pointer is pointing in the memory the word good the string the string should have the value good so now we're going to test it out we're going to say printf array string is percent s okay and it's going to start to print the whole uh content of the string and we refer to it as str dot arr underscore string and that should print the entire content of that array and then the same thing again we say pointer string is percent s under and then backslash n to start a new line and we we string we refer to that as str dot ptr underscore string so that should give us the value good in the here so we should this one should print b b a d and then space and start a new line and this one should print good and start a new line okay so let's test it and see how that works build okay we have a an error what do we say it says line 12 union struck entry not found and where do it say is that the that's the first section there so let's have a look at where that where we went wrong in that so we have str string okay here we go that part there we've had an a should be a s so it's interesting to find errors isn't it save and now we build see if that works aborting in compiler again we have another problem this time con constant too long good okay so let's see where we went wrong in that 
Okay, let's change that into two quotation marks like that. Let's see if that would make a slight difference. So we've got PTR string equals to good. Let's try that. So you save. We just say run, build. Okay, no problems. So we've used a uh, double quotation. Let's close this and let's see it running. What do we call it? We call it struct array point. Okay, so it does that correctly. It said array string is bad and the pointer string is good. Okay, so that's that lesson done.